Right, now I've explained to people what pH is, um, acids and alkalis, um, alkalis positive charge, acids negative charge, keep it simple. Um, hopefully the magnets helped you understand. But what I'm going to show you is um, how to, what this, you can replicate that into the blood and I'll show you how what damage it does to the blood. So again, from consuming too much acidity, um, too much protein and fats and obviously negative stress causes this problem and it's quite a big problem and I'll tell you why it's a big problem as well keep it simple again this picture here you can see this is what, what's known as protein linkage and that's where the plasma is starting to get quite uh, starting to get acidic that's due purely from consuming too much protein and fats and acidity through drinks. Um, so I can show here, you can see the cell there is like a lemon shape. It's starting to lemon, it's got points on it. Um, trying to find some more for you. This is very mild um, one there. It's starting to go like a lemon shape. And they're starting to attach to each other. Okay, they're starting to go like a lemon shape, starting to attach. Um, if you remember the magnets from negative charge they they stick to each other don't they the magnets so that's the start of it there now i'm going to bring up to you a picture of another stage now this is the one on from that this is what's known as rouleau and you can see here if you remember the magnets um, that were stacked on top of each other this is basically the same replicated so this is negative charge so that everything's stuck together you can see here it's all stuck together your cells you know, you compare that picture um, there, where all your red cells are rendered useless, really, because they can't. How you know? How can your cells? If I put two pictures side by side here, just to show you, um, I didn't want to move that. Got a picture there. Let's do this one here, and just get this on a different size, just to show you comparisons. Okay. So you got two pictures here. You got this one here, which is what your red cells should look like. Nice free separation. And if you come over to here, you can see the difference, quite a dramatic difference. You know, these cell, your red cells here are quite freely to, able to distribute what it needs, oxygen, nutrients and hormones to your vital organs, um, which they can do that. And also remember some of your capillaries in your body, um, especially to your brain and you know, to your fingers, they, your capillaries, you know, you've got your arteries, your veins, your capillaries. Capillaries are somewhat are one cell thick. So they have to go out there individually. You know, how are these gonna go down there individually? They can't, they're all stacked together, they're stuck together through negative charge. Uh, and that is purely down to too much acidity in the blood. And there's one step on from that, which I will try and find for you this second, which is this one here. And you can see here, this is an absolute mess. Um, your cells are just an absolute complete a jumble of a car crash basically um, and these are just there's no way these are going to go anywhere and um, that's not a very good picture and again this is so important to understand this problem because this is what leads to things like heart attacks strokes because if your if your organ whether it's your brain your heart your lung if it gets starved or any of these block some of the capillaries um, in the body that you know parts of your body vitally need this is what causes strokes this is what causes heart attacks and this is what you do not want your blood to look like um, and there are ways around to get your blood away from this down to this and then eventually down to this which is what you want it's a hundred percent functioning blood whereas this here is not very good and this is another this is another thing which causes people for fatigue tiredness if your body's not your organs are not getting the oxygen and the nutrients it needs and it's rendered useless by looking like this um, this is the reason why you're this is the, it's the pure reason why there's fatigue and tiredness because your body's getting drained and not getting what it needs where this here you know, since my blood's been like this, I don't get tired anymore, at all. Hardly any tired. I don't. I don't find myself yawning. I don't find myself falling asleep. Um, a dramatic difference for me. Um, so that's 
you know, that just shows you what you, you, you want your blood to look like. Thank you.